right. So could you just give us a little rundown of what happened with the police this morning? Well, um, I guess uh, it all started about 7 o'clock this morning when police came over and let us know that our tents and our um, tarps that we had up covering our stuff needed to come down. <laughs> We had a lot of the important electronics, the media center covered up, and um, they came over and they told us that the, the tarps needed to come off of that entire area. And, and in my honest opinion, I think it was one of those, uh, I think it was a way of them trying to break down our momentum that we had from our march. They wanted to um, try and break down that momentum, break down our spirits, and it, and it actually did have that effect for a little while. When they came over and they tore down those tarps, there were some people that were trying to really save their equipment. Um, the people that wanted to make sure that stuff didn't have to get wet ended up getting picked up, thrown off of it, and a couple of them were arrested. There was a guy that ended up uh, getting dragged out pretty bad, whatever, I guess, uh, from what I understand, he got a tooth knocked out. Hey, what's your name? 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 So we can tell the National Lawyers Guild. Opinion, they're, they're trying to break down our spirit because they see that we got a strong momentum going. There's a lot of people that are coming in. I see a lot of fresh faces. This is day four, and it just seems that it's growing. Um, and I think they want to try and break down our spirits because they know that this could uh, this could result in something if it just continues to grow the way it has. He can't breathe. I can't breathe. He can't breathe. He can't breathe. Ah, he can't breathe. Get off him. Get off him. Get off him. He can't breathe. Wow. Look at this. What's this? Are you going to kill a civilian? You can cough me. Happy breezes. Eric Gershbacher. How have the police been, for the most part, uh, throughout the 48? They, they're very supportive. Um, however, when they do get some orders from their peers, their higher-ups, they're acting on it. But I've been getting a lot of thumbs up, a lot of nods. A lot of these cops were also hit very critically as well during the financial crisis of 2008, which was a direct result of a lot of the um, the lies and the greed that takes place on Wall Street. What's your name? You can't hear shit. You asshole. We do have a lot of, how should I say, support from the cops, but they can't really show it. They they have to stay neutral and they have to obey their orders. And if they get that they get told to. Um, you know, make us take down our tents, take down our tarps, uncover our important electronics, even while it's raining. They got to come in and do what they got to do. And I think they're sending in the hard asses, if, if I may say so, like to um, to take care of the dirty work for them and stuff. Because I know a lot of them don't really appreciate seeing what's happening to us as far as people getting roughed up for no reason. My name is Sam Cohen. I'm a civil rights attorney with the law offices of Wiley Steckler, Wiley Law. Uh, we have been aware of what's been going on here, and we believe that the action that is going on currently in Zuccotti Park uh, represents the core of freedom of expressive association as guaranteed by the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Uh, right now, we are seeking consensus to be retained by the occupation as a collective to file an order to show cause in the Southern District Court for the state of New York uh, on behalf of the occupation uh, seeking a temporary restraining order, which is a legal term I'll be happy to explain, uh, and a declarative uh, recognition of the uh, occupation's First Amendment right to assemble, and also of the guarantee in the U.S. Uh, in, pardon me, in the New York City Administrative Code, uh, which states that no permit is required to erect tents below a certain size. Um, we believe that the tent issue is critical to the continuing of the occupation. Uh, and we believe that the NYPD has been applying the law incorrectly in a deliberate attempt to disrupt the occupation.